Good morning. This is Between the Lines Live at SandustyRegister.com. I'm Matt Westerholt, Managing Editor of the Register, and my guests today are from Leadership Erie County, Seth Link, Brian Carbula, and from the Nehemiah Center, Tondra Frisbee. Hey. Before we go there, though, I want to mention that Between the Lines is brought to you by Serving Our Seniors for Erie County residents age 60 and older, 60 and better. With, when you need help, call Serving Our Seniors 419-624-1856. This segment of Between the Lines is being produced by Grant from St. Mary's. Grant Raymond. Say hello, Grant. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, I do also want to mention that there's several Between the Lines segments this week, uh, including uh, State Senator Frank LaRose, who announced his candidacy this week to be Secretary of State. That's a great interview. You can find all those segments at between at uh, SandusskyRegister.com slash BTL. So go there and check it out. They're all good programs. With that, I want to introduce our guest on the end, Seth Link, in the middle, Ryan Carbula, and of course, Tondra Frisbee Hello. from the Nehemiah Center. Why are we here today? We are here to talk about our fundraiser that is going to be held on July 21st keeping the kids cool by the leadership erie county team which we have two mm -hmm. of them here there are three not present but and yeah the three not present i wrote their names down so we could mention them. they're on the committee Ta talon floor from the city of sandusky yep he's a neighborhood initiative uh programmer and joe beauty 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 from firelands regional medical center yep are on the committee from Leadership Erie County, which is a leadership group. Every year, uh, a number of people join and fight fight the good fight for good causes. And you've been doing it for about a year now? Correct. Oh, we have Vicki Fritz, yeah, too. Fritz. Don't, Vicky forget. Fritz. don't forget my girl, Vicki. Oh, yeah, that's right. Vicki Fritz uh, it works for the Perkins Township. Yep. Uh, she's not here with us today. But we're going to talk about this fundraiser on June 21st. Mm -hmm. And when you say keeping, keeping the kids cool, you're talking about air conditioning. Yes, the uh, HVAC uh, units that we would like to have put into the gymnasium of the Nehemiah Center, which is located at 1215 Campbell Street, the old Campbell School. How long has it been there? Well, that building actually has been there since 1850. 1884. 1884? I think it's 1884. 1884. The old Campbell School. Yeah, 1884. That sounds good. Nehemiah Center, yep. which is an after-schools program yep, for kids in the neighborhood. It's much more. It's uh, Actually, um, we're going to start building it as the community anchor of the city. The community anchor of the city. Yeah, so we would like to have more than just an after-school program there. We're, we're actually now um, trying to uh, open in and expose that building to people in the community, organizations, partners. I'm looking for partners to join the uh, uh, Nehemiah Partners organization. To help, to, help, us. to help fund the operation. That's right, because we want this program and this organization to be a legacy in the community. And so with this uh, HVAC unit, into the gymnasium would open it up for other organizations to be to have right. events there. Um, there's graduation parties, receptions. We were at a graduation I, party the other night. That's right, for my three comeback kids. And that was great. That was an awesome event. And it was warm in there, wasn't it? It was warm, yes. yes. <laughs> and in the summer, it can be very warm. Very so warm, unbearable. And, and uh, it can be unbearable. Yes. But it's, uh, and this portion of the building is, is newer. Yes. Uh, it's, it's probably about 30 years old, but you're looking to replace the entire HVAC system, the heating. Yes and air conditioning system. Yes. For, for the gymnasium for portion the of the gymnasium. building. Right, yep. which is, is an expensive undertaking. How did Leadership Erie County decide to go this route? Well, so every year for Leadership Erie County, as our capstone of the program, we select a number of community projects that um, we can either raise money or c commit some kind of service. We were searching throughout the community uh, which projects mm -hmm. we felt would have the most impact in Erie County. We probably had a list of, I don't know, 30 probably, or yeah. 50 projects that we were looking at, and uh, everyone kept saying, you got to go to Nehemiah and That's see what great. they're doing. And once we visited, I we just kind of fell in love with the program and jumped on board. It's easy, to, it's easy to fall in love with the program because you go to Nehemiah Center and you see thriving uh, just lives and just joy. It's really special place. It's special to, to me and to the register. 
Um, and Seth, what did you think when you visited the Nehemiah Center? I was blown away, to be honest. Yeah. Blown away with Tandra, blown away with the kids. Um, I never really been at anything like that um, in Sandusky, so it was, I was blown away. It really, has, it really has great impact in the community. And we, we really saw does. that the other night with the three graduates, uh, Sierra, Jamonte, and Leasia. Mm -hmm. And they have been there for seven years. They were seven the first years. Nehemiah kids. They actually. were the first Nehemiah kids, and they all were, they started, they were fifth graders. They were fifth graders. So we've and, been in existence in that uh, after school program for seven years, and they are our first uh, graduates of the program. And we had a great you had a graduation ceremony that I was honored to attend yes. and uh, you had pictures of the kids growing up and yes. it was so moving and touching it still is touches my heart because as I was watching it reminded my own daughter how quickly she grew up mm -hmm. and uh, you know she's 21 and these kids are now 18 mm -hmm. and uh, strong young yep. uh, leaders le they're leaders and yep. that's the the leadership program uh, leadership here in county it teaches about leadership Correct. And, and leadership is serving the community. You're not really a leader if you're not serving the community. You might be a, a leader in business, but even then, if you're not serving the community, you're self-serving. Absolutely. So you can mm -hmm. be, you know, uh, a, a real estate tycoon. You could become president, and it's questionable if you're really a leader. Uh, no, I'm, okay, I'm going yeah. politics. Yeah, let's, <laughs> we're going to skip that. Reel it back, reel uh, it back. Uh, Come on back. Backpedal, backpedal. <laughs> But uh, so what is happening on June 21st at 7 p.m.? And how much does it July cost 21st. to participate? It's, yeah. July 21st. It's July 21st. July 21st. July 21st. So we are having a concert uh, charity auction. We'll have a band based out of Cleveland. They're called the Swamp Boogie Band. The Swamp Boogie Band. Yes. And they perform oldies, uh, Motown, classic rock, R&B. Motown. They have a pretty They're long all list. Over, uh, yeah. Their repertoire. playlist is amazing. That's great. And where will this be at? This is going to be at the Elks in Sandusky. The Elks, and that's just a stone's throw from here on Adams mm -hmm. Street. Correct. Yep. The Elks. Everybody knows the Elks, and that's July 21st, which is a Friday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Starting at 7 p.m., and tickets are $35. Tickets are $35. We have uh, hors d'oeuvres prepared by Chef Clint Bates from Farm, Bates Farm Kitchen. The new restaurant the new in restaurant. Perkins Township. Yep. And it's going to be mwah, ooh la la. <laughs> and uh, we also have... Um, some very, very uh, attractive auction items. We have a signed Jimmy Buffett guitar. A signed Jimmy Buffett guitar. So yes, you would bid on that? You would. And then we have a um, signed drum head from the drummer Joey Kramer of Aerosmith. Of Aerosmith. Yes. Very good. And then we have an amazingly beautiful uh, portrait of a young leopard that was... Um, photographed in Africa by one of my colleagues. He framed it as beautiful. You, you got to see it. And you, you, you'll want to bid on that now. It'll look <laughs> I, good in your... In I, I don't know if I can make it. You? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, I will be there. And I, I, in fact, I have... I wrote a check oh. because you told me to. No, you really wanted to do this. I did. Uh, you all know, certainly uh, the Swamp Boogie Band and Oldies. Yes. You know, I wouldn't remember those songs, but I, uh, I, of course I, I'm, I I'm trying to learn more yeah. about your music. You missed a few zeros on this. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll give that. You know, if you want to purchase tickets, we have tickets available in hand. And we also, you can share, Ryan can share about the, uh, the way to purchase tickets through Eventbrite. Right, so if... Uh, you're able to buy tickets from any member of, of our team. Uh, we also have online uh, on eventbrite.com. If you search Nehemiah or search Keeping the Kids Cool, uh, you can purchase tickets through that site that's as well. Events? Eventbrite. B-R-I-T-E. B-R-I-T-E. Eventbrite. Okay, and Ryan, you're with um, the Ecadec of Erie County. I am. What do you do with Ecadec? I'm a program manager, so I do business outreach and I help run our entrepreneurship program okay. as well. And Seth, you're with the you're the business manager at Goodwill. Correct. And you're right across the street. Right there. I walked Did you over. drive over? No, here? I walked over. It's a little chilly out though. So tell us about Leadership Erie County. What was your experience like with Leadership Erie County? It was a, a great program for me. I didn't know a lot about it. Uh, I've only been here for a little over a year mm -hmm. and uh, Joe Hayberger came into our office Joe. and, and mm -hmm. pitched that I should join Leadership Erie County. It's been a great way for me to learn more about the community and really develop a network of very close friends and uh, colleagues. 
Very good. And Seth, what was your experience at Leadership Erie County? Same thing. Uh, Joe came into Goodwill. He actually wanted our uh, president and CEO to do it, but he couldn't, um, so he offered it to me. I jumped at the chance to do it. Um, I think it's, it's uh, our, the Register's new publisher, Ron Waite, is going to enroll in this year's class and into next year. So, and Leadership Erie County is a program that basically teaches leadership through uh, outreach, mm -hmm. through uh, getting to know the community. Mm -hmm. I know they come and visit us here every year, or usually, and learn about our business and, mm -hmm. and who we are. And you visit businesses and you meet business leaders. And is that how you met Tondra? You, you pitched uh, the air conditioning? Yeah, I actually met uh, Talon first, and he came through on our block party of last year's summer camp. Mm -hmm. And he actually experienced the heat in the gym. Okay. And then met Ryan, mm -hmm. and then uh, him and Ryan came over, and we talked about Nehemiah, um, and and it was, it wasn't for sure that they were going to choose our organization at that point. But I mean, I knew it, but they. <laughs> it wasn't, right. it wasn't it official, wasn't official, but official. Tondra knew. Right, I knew it, but you know, it just this team uh, has just been amazing. These five individuals that that have come together to to support Nehemiah and what we want to do. It's just been amazing. They have a passion and a heart for the kids in the community and this organization. Anybody so. who shows up at Nehemiah at any given time when uh, it's, it's active and yeah. you, you're active a lot, you'll see these kids and you'll see how important they are to our future and, and how great they are. Right, right. It's a great spirit in that building. Well, and it's, uh, you know, the building's been there since 1884, I believe. Yep, yep. It might and be 85 I, on the building, but I think 84 is on the That's building. when they started building right. it. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but I, I have a theory that that, uh, that plot of land is where people go to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, and we, they did it at the school for years and years. And then you've, you've been in the old Campbell School for... Since 2010. Seven years then. Seven years. So why is the air conditioning so important to the Nehemiah Center? Well, again, like I said, if we want to say Nehemiah is the uh, community anchor of the city, we want to be able to have unity in the community and have community events held there. Mm -hmm. And it's extremely warm in the summer months, any month that is, you know, from now until probably six, right. September. So there's not after one o'clock, you right. know, we have a summer camp that's going to be happening in July also. And then beginning we have, July 5th yeah, through we, July 27th. Yeah. But we have to be out of that building, especially in the gym, even before one o'clock. Right. Because it's, uh, it's unbearable. So right. that would be uh, a, a way we can also, uh, you know, generate some funding for our operations. Generate and funding and, by inviting community groups to hold events there. That, absolutely. And, and paying to hold their events there. Absolutely. As, as a donation to the operations of the Nehemiah Center. Correct. So the operations of the Nehemiah Center are paid for by who? Right now we have been operating by God's grace and mercy, first of all, but it has been very little grants. Uh, up until this last year. Mm -hmm. So basically the community, individual donors, private contributions have really uh, come together and kept us in operation for seven, for years. seven years. There are regular donors yes, who regular who provide. donors who we love and, and, and they provide us uh, uh, financially su financial support and in-kind services. Um, but we want to go to another level. We want to start this new school year to be an extended five days a week. Right. So but that means you have to up the up the ante yep. for because five for days donations. Means more uh, wear and tear on the building, more, more utilities, volunteers. more volunteers. We of course are going to have more kids. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we want we want this to go to another level because again, at the end of the day, we had kindergarten kids watching our seniors. The, the other they, night as well. The other well. night, and they all want to be on that and in, in that in that place at some point. So we have to keep. We can't let this program die. So we need support. There's not. A, there's no chance the program's going to. It's die. not going to die, Matt. No, you there's promise? no chance. <laughs> I, it just can't. It, it can't. It can't. It's it too can't. important to the city of Sandusky. It's too important to those families. I, I really thank you for for identifying this as a group that's worthy of your attention and leadership, Erie County. I, I, You'll be glad you did it. Absolutely. And uh, what else can you tell us about your efforts to raise money? It's a lot of money you have to raise. It is a lot of money. It's uh, probably one of the top fundraising projects Leadership Erie County has mm -hmm. done. Um, so I guess any support we could have. What's that number? 
Yeah. We don't but even want to say the number. We're not even yeah. sure what the number it's, is. It's around fifty thousand dollars that we need to raise. Uh, yeah. And that, again, that's for high efficiency HVAC systems, just in the gym portion. Um, but it, it'd make a big impact. It'd allow yeah. Tandra to have students there throughout the summer. Currently, yeah. we got they, the whole year, you know, when the I students think. wrap up the school year. That's when Nehemiah. You know, I, I replaced my air conditioning at my condo unit mm -hmm. for seven hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. And when Sears was uh, closing, I got two air conditioners. You know, they they're the big old ones. They they don't go in a window. They go into a unit yeah. holder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, the difference in my energy bill. I mean, it's almost unnoticeable when I keep the air conditioning on all summer mm. versus the thirty-five year old air conditioning I have. Mm -hmm. So that's key too. And I don't mm -hmm. think it's an issue of uh, comfort, it's right. almost an issue of safety. I, yeah. I, Tondra was yeah. telling us you could, you could put a candle in there during the summer and it pour the know. wax out. It, no it, would, it gets very hot. Yeah, yeah so. it gets very yep. hot. And, and, but you've used the gym despite that and you yeah, use in it the mornings. in the mornings. Yeah, mm -hmm. in the mornings before, you know, before noon uh, is when we have our summer camp usually in July. But you know, again, if, it, if we had the uh, H -A HVAC we wouldn't. We actually wouldn't have to end our program right? because August is even more hot. Right. You could we go would just through go August. through the entire year. And the know? gym, there's a kitchen off the gym as well. That's right. Um, with uh, you know, and you have you we have teams. We have several teams that come together and, and provide a wonderful hot meal. And uh, for this will be a uh, um, in addition to breakfast, lunch, and dinner is mm -hmm. served out of that kitchen, kids' mm -hmm. cafe. And um, you, you rely on volunteers, you rely on community uh, generosity That's for your right. operation. Yep. And the people who donate know how important Nehemiah Center is because they've seen it. Yep. Uh, so we're looking for anybody who would want to visit the center. They should Absolutely. call you. What, where should well, they call you at? They actually, you have a script here? I do have. So you, didn't, you didn't share the script <laughs> with I, me. I know I didn't. So you just go ahead. I'm you, just going to go ahead with go it. Ahead. Okay, is that all right with you? Yep. yep. All right. So we, we can, you guys can come to the Kids Fest, the Whiteman Weaver uh, Kids Fest celebration, safety celebration down at the uh, uh, Sandusky Pavilion tomorrow right. from the hours of 12 noon to 5. Nehemiah will have, two, have a couple of tables under that tent where we will be offering uh, kids registration for our summer camp. Mm -hmm. We will be offering volunteer applications for summer camp. We also have new office hours starting Monday. Someone will be available at Nehemiah from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m throughout the summer, mm -hmm. someone will be there. Whether you see Granny Pat or you see Miss Hope Weisbach, someone will be there for Ms. you. Miss Norma. Miss Norma. They'll, you'll be able to sign your kids up for summer camp throughout the uh, month of June and the first part of July, I guess. Maybe we will do that then. But from uh, Monday through Friday, 9 to 1, someone will be at Nehemiah um, all summer long. We also have a fundraiser with Mad River Harley Davidson. They have mad love for Nehemiah. So if you go out to Mad River Harley Davidson. Right right near the Walmart. Yep. They have a goal of raising ten thousand dollars for Nehemiah with a summer long fundraiser. So they they've already had uh, one event. They had an, they're having another one tomorrow with a ride um, a test ride event. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a Harley it's a motorcycle dealership. Yep, they have a they have a t-shirt quilt that was made that you can um, bid on. I think mm -hmm. is how it goes. And then there's going to be a proceed from one of the bike runs during Bike Week will go to Nehemiah. All proceeds go to Nehemiah. That we have that, and we're always looking for volunteers to help support the Nehemiah Center. So. If you have a passion for kids or have a passion for the community to see some good things and be a part of something that's amazing, because it's amazing. It is. So. It's like, um, it's, there's no words. Yeah. It is amazing. It is. And to, come, to, come, to do that, can they call you? They can call me at 419-202-0020. You can find us on Facebook at Nehemiah Partners of Sandusky. You can also find us at Twitter at Nehemiah Center 7 and on Instagram, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, and you can visit uh, from 9 to 1? 9 to 1, Monday through Friday, starting this Monday, the 22nd. And uh, we eventually want to offer five days a week programming for the uh, Year kids, K, yep, K through 8. And then offer, of course, if they have the leadership qualities, they can be comeback kids and be part of that 9 through 12 uh, 
uh, volunteer. What is a comeback kid? A comeback kid is a, uh, a student that has gone through the program whichever, whenever they come, um, and, but they've completed the eighth grade and now they're high school students that come back and become red shirts, which are the volunteers. Volunteers and their leaders. Yep, and they can, those volunteer hours count towards credits in, in, in school. In school. In high school, yes. Yeah. So they become uh, leaders of small groups uh, and have the uh, red shirts and they be there. And if you get involved, if you volunteer, you'll see how this impacts the kids and how, who they become through the years. That's what I realized the other day with the graduation, who, who Jamonte, who Jaleesa, and who uh, Liesia, Liesia, and Liesia, Liesia, and Sierra. Yeah. And Sierra. Yeah. Uh, very, very impressive. Um, Seth, Ryan, thank you for what you're doing. Thank you uh, to Vicki and to Joe. And Joe. Yeah. What's Joe's last name? Beauty. 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 Yeah. All right. And thank we, you very much. Am I going to get tickets? Or yeah, I'm yeah, going to give you. It's two <laughs> tickets, right? Yeah, I'm going to give you two tickets, but we have 400 tickets available. They're going fast. You want to get, you don't want to miss this. It's going to be a great event. Okay, it's July 21st from yep. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. at there's, the Elks there's on raffles. East Adams Street. We have 50 some 50s. amazing raffles. There's 50-50. Jimmy, a signed Jimmy Buffett cash, guitar, <laughs> if, you're a, if you're a Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett Sinan. fan. <laughs> Yeah, Jimmy Buffett with the letter of authenticity along with that. And, um, so that has some real value. Oh, it has some, ve it has some real value. In I, the I stepped on a pop top. Okay. Blew out my flip flop. Yep, all of that. Had to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> and what else do we, are we? Uh, we'll have a cash bar available as well. Oh. A cash bar available mm -hmm. as well. So this is a way to get involved. This is a way to have fun. This is a way to contribute back to the community. Yes. Back to the city of Sandusky. Yes. These kids are amazing. You're welcome to visit beginning Monday, anytime from 9 to 1 p.m. That's right. And you can see it in action. You can see what happens at the Nehemiah Center at Campbell School. Was there anything else we had to cover, Ryan, Seth? I don't, I don't think like so. No. Just are you going to hop in your car and go back over to Goodwill? Absolutely, yeah. Thank you very much for being here, and thank you for thank what you. you're doing for Nehemiah Center. It's an important And thank you, Matt. I mean, we can't uh, say enough about all the support that you give us at Nehemiah Center, and uh, we, we really do love your presence there. You've been part of our summer camp. Am um, I doing that again this yeah, year? Yeah, you are. Okay. We're going to put a twist on it. I'll tell you about that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. We do a... We do a, what do, what do we call it? They're called the um, Sandusky Register, the, the Extreme uh, Report. Extreme Times. Yeah, Extreme, Extreme Times. Times is a publication. This will be our fifth or sixth publication. Where the kids just uh, own a newspaper. Yep, for, they for turn into young reporters. Yep. And then we publish it in the Sandusky Register, and everybody gets a copy of it that's involved in producing this edition of Extreme Times. And they were Extreme on Between Times. the Lines last year, remember? Or was that? Yeah, they were. Yeah, that we did that we extended yeah. it last yeah. year. We we extended it into new digital programming for newspapers. So in the whole point that truly this is the true story about that. <laughs> you know, Tondra thinks I'm volunteering and I'm helping out, but actually I'm recruiting. <laughs> I'm recruiting <laughs> journalists when I and I, I'm serious. Yeah. That's where it starts. Yeah. I, I've interviewed so many new journalists and I say, When did you and one of my first questions is when did you first get interested in journalism? Mm -hmm. And the answers are, you know, everywhere. But mm -hmm. sometimes they say when I was in junior high or when I was, you know, a kid in grade school. It's always so interesting. But that is truly yeah. why I started doing that. Okay. So uh, we'll see how it works out because it's been seven years. We've mm -hmm. got our first uh, graduating yeah. class. So yeah. we'll see how that works out. Well, thank you very much for being here again. It's July 21st at the Elks. Yeah. From 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are $35. You can obtain tickets through Ryan or Seth. Or Tondra. Or Tondra. Or Vicky. Vicky. Talent. 419-202-0020. Yep. Or Eventbrite. Eventbrite. B-R-I-T-E slash. Search Nehemiah. Just search Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Yep. Eventbrite. And then search for Nehemiah when you get to and the you website. You can also just do a donation on that site, too. You don't have to necessarily buy Correct. a ticket for this event. If you just want to donate to help us get reach our goal. Yeah, it's the Swamp Boogie Band. That's, yeah. that's old music. Music I wouldn't old, be f no. familiar with. It's old and new. I stepped on a pop top. Yeah. <laughs> right. Blew on my flip flop. Had to go back. You know what that yeah, is? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you know what it is? I don't. Yeah. It's Jimmy Buffett. Margarita. <laughs> Margarita. Oh, yeah. Margarita oh, yeah, there. I stepped right. on a pop top, blew up my foot. Make flop, a little move with it. Maybe cut I my foot and had to go on back home. Right. I got you. 
All Don't right. forget. So, so I you're do. gonna bid on that Jimmy Buffett the, guitar. The, the Swamp Boogie Band. Yeah, I'll bid on it. That is a big prize. It is. Uh, it that is. is a collector's item. It has value. It has a letter of authenticity. Yep. You also have the, the drum head from the Aerosmith drummer. Joey Kramer. Joey Kramer. It's so a beautiful frame box. So you can get tickets uh, at, uh, say it again, Event? yeah. eventbrite.com. Eventbrite.com. Search, Just search Nehemiah. for Nehemiah. And uh, if you want to donate, just call Tondra at 419-202-0020. Yep. And we're always looking for more volunteers. Thank you very much for being with us on Between Thank the Lines. You. Thank, Thank you. you for what you do. Thank you to Leadership here. Thank County. you, it's Leadership. You guys are awesome. Thank you so welcome. much. That every year does things like this. Thank you very much for being with us. That's it, That's it for this segment of Between the Lines Live at SanduskyRegister.com.